Facebook has admitted that it still doesn't know the full extent of Russia's ad purchases during the 2016 elections. And if that wasn't enough, it was also discovered that advertisers could pay to reach almost any kind of Facebook user, including anti-Semites. Google is reportedly having similar issues, putting the two largest ad companies at the center of a new controversy. Julia Borston has more. Jew haters and how to burn Jews, Jewish parasite and black people ruin everything. These bigoted slurs were some of the targeting categories Facebook and Google's self-service ad platforms offered advertisers. Both of the ad giants removed these options, Facebook changing its targeting process after being contacted by ProPublica, Google responding to a BuzzFeed report. ProPublica documented a test of promoting posts to over 2,000 people who expressed interest in anti-Semitic topics. They are essentially an ad company. If there's one thing they probably should be policing, it would be the things that they sell for money. And the fact that they didn't have a review system in place, or at least not a particularly good one, is, is surprising. Facebook removed those categories and changed its policies, issuing a statement including, quote, we prohibit advertisers from discriminating against people based on religion and other attributes. Keeping our community safe is critical to our mission. I don't think this was a question of bad intent. I think it, I think it is one where there is oversight issues. I think it's absolutely the case that they can apply some technology to this. But in the interim, they're going to have to throw human bodies at this and really uh, snuff it out. Google also facing scrutiny after BuzzFeed News reported advertisers can target racist and anti-Semitic keywords and phrases. Google issuing a statement including, quote, Our goal is to prevent our keyword suggestions tool from making offensive suggestions and to stop any offensive ads appearing. We didn't catch all these offensive suggestions. That's not good enough and we're not making excuses and we'll work harder to stop this from happening again. With Facebook and Google drawing about two-thirds of all digital ad dollars, questions about their advertising policies are sure to remain a hot-button topic. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.